what is going on guys it's Justin from the J media back with another video so today we'll be having some exciting stuff going on I'm taking my DC5 RSX making stops at Garage Kozoku as well as Long Automotive so I also recently just got a new package in just last night super exciting do you guys know the brand Jace Racing if you guys know JDM stuff you guys probably know Jace Racing it's a huge box so yeah I'll be doing a separate video unboxing, show you guys what's inside here. And speaking of JDM cars, over here we have the FDRX7. This one is the right-hand drive JDM version. Uh, yeah, so they were... Uh, Thompson owned this car, he was trying to basically sell it. And Long took me for a little test drive, addressed some issues on it. We also threw on the Vogue Racing wheels on the other day, so it looks pretty good. We also have Emans BMW 335i sitting over here as well as Long Civic Type R sitting clean back here as well. And just spent the last 30 minutes cleaning down this EG hatch. So clean now. And also helped to replace the uh, windshield wipers, the brand new ones. Clean Hondas everywhere. We have a Honda CRX. You guys have seen this in previous vlogs. So Long is fixing to do a raffle on this car. So you guys know Honda CRXs, they're just older and so rare and hard to find. I think they're gonna slap on some of these uh, single DIN as well as new speakers to the CRX before doing the giveaway. We have a couple hours to kill. So uh, yeah, pretty much Long's gonna go home, take my Lancer over here. We are getting it prepped to bring it back home pretty soon in a few days. Alright, so here's my Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer GT. As you can tell, the car is filthy. Uh, super dirty right now. Has been neglected for a while. So we are prepping to take this car home this weekend. So super, super exciting. This has been a long time coming. But yeah, pretty much what we'll be doing is we'll be washing it down, doing a clay bar, doing a full detail on it, get it as clean and shiny as can be. Um, and since on the outside it's been sitting for a while, some of the stuff, clear coat has been gone. So we need to re-clear coat it right here as well. So we're just trying to get it nice and clean. Uh, and then what else? Long is also going to take apart the front bumper, check through everything, make sure everything's all hooked up, not leaking any oil or coolant or anything like that. Um, but for today, as of right now, I'm going to tackle cleaning out the interior as well. So interior is not super dirty, but again, it's been sitting here at the shop for a while. I also have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff just in the trunk. So I'm going to clear that out as well, get it nice and good clean. It's a different day continuation from the last vlog. Uh, previously, we cleaned out the interior of the Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer build, getting it all ready and prepped to take back home. So today, we'll be cleaning the outside of the car. Um, yeah, it's been sitting for a while. I've washed it over the past few months, but just a simple wash. Today, we're gonna be doing a full wash, full detail clay bar, because it does look pretty rough. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys here in a minute. And that's my girl, looking all dirty and neglected. So, yeah, she's super dirty and nasty right now, as you can see. I'm just gonna drive it around, give her a good little wash. Uh, so yeah, we'll be doing a full detail on this car because it's been sitting for a while. And what we'll be doing first is, we do have a power washer, so I'll be spraying it down with water and then using the gun, foam gun, foam it down let all the dirt and residue just slowly drip down and then 
foam it, uh, spray with water again and then foam it one more time and then the second time around I'll actually use a wash mitt to kind of scrub it down and then I'll just pull it into the shop to get it wiped down and we'll do clay bar and polish and all that good stuff uh, yeah sun is right above us right now so uh, yeah I'll try to get as much as can get done usually I wouldn't really recommend doing it when it's so hot it's better to do it when there's no sun but like I said, we'll just get it washed and everything and then pull it into the shop where there's shade to dry it down so that, you know, the water doesn't actually stay on the car and dry up. So let me go ahead and fire her up. Like I said, the interior is all clean. I just detailed yesterday. Oh, looks so good and nice and shiny. Fires right up, sounds good. Let me go ahead and pull it over to the side of the shop and get her washed down. So I just went ahead and sprayed it down with water, sprayed it down with the foam as you can see. Just letting it get all the debris slowly kicked on and just slowly drip. I'm going to spray it down again and then I'm going to do the two bucket method, the old school way. Um, just go ahead and put some of the uh, car wash solution in here and then I'm going to be using this wash mitt to scrub it down, get the wheels nice and clean and I think we should be good for washing it. So I just sprayed on the Lancer one more time with water. Uh, so what I do have to do is I do need to foam it down one last time. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the two bucket method. Use a wash mitt and get it nice and clean. I'm just going to take a little break for now. Go for lunch. But yeah, I just don't want it to sit out here in the sun because she's wet. It looks so good. Uh, like I said, it does need some work. As you can hear, my carbon fiber hood sounds like sandpaper so once we clear bar it everything should be good to go and then any pieces that needs to be really clear coated will be taken care of as well but yeah she looks so much cleaner so we're gonna take this rsx type s to go get food and eman's mom is hooking us up with some homemade food so you guys know i own the rsx but this is the rsx type s so it has more power and only comes in a metal transmission so let's see how this thing drives I think the base model makes 160 crank horsepower versus the Type S makes about 200. And in the Type S, you have a higher rate line as well, right about 8,000. So yeah, all in all, she drives pretty okay. I was trying to compare it with my Agent Civic Si, but it's not really fair because that one has both ons that in tune and this one's stock. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty good, pretty stock. Quicker than my RSX for sure. <laughs> Car drives pretty good, and man, I love the 05 and up up uh, facelift model. So we're over here at E-Man's house now. It's Jeep just chilling in the garage. I'm here to check out his bike as well. He's trying to sell me a mountain bike because uh, pretty much E-Man, Long, Gabriel, all the guys at Long Shop, they're into mountain biking now. So they're trying to get me into it. Here's the bike he's trying to sell me. I don't know anything about bikes, especially off-road mountain bikes. But yeah, I'm here to check it out. Um, 
he had it for many years and it's just the rear suspension that needs to be replaced but other than that he says it's pretty straight It feels quicker now that I'm a passenger. <laughs> the driver mod. And here are the guys' bike setups. I believe this is Long's modern bike. And this is E-Man's new modern bike that he just got, I believe. They look so good. Again, I don't know much. So on mine, the rear shock, rear suspension setup got to be replaced. I think he said it costs about 200 bucks or so to get it from Fox. Um, but yeah, they look pretty good. So they got them used. I think E-Man said typically this bike here goes for like four or 5,000, uh, but he picked it up for a steal of about $1,000. So yeah, looks good. So just done with lunch. Right now I'm just gonna take my Mitsubishi back out. I'm gonna be washing it down again. So like I said, spring water, foaming it down, but this time I'm gonna use a wash mitt, get it all nice, and then I'll dry it down before clay barring it and getting all nice and detailed. So car is all good. I went ahead, like I said, spray down water, spray with the foam gun, scrub it down, spray the foam gun again and water. So I'm just gonna go dry her up. So this is it for the basic wash and then we just have to take it in, dry down and then get to a clay bar and polishing it. All right, so right now I'm gonna clay bar the whole car. So over here we have your clay bar eraser. Um, so at all times when you clay bar, you wanna make sure it's lubricated. You can either use like a spray, like a, you know, any kind of detailing spray on wax or you could use water um, get it nice and wet and then pretty much use this and go ahead and you know just do it like that as you can hear sounds like sandpaper after this it's gonna be nice and smooth so I'm gonna go ahead and do this fender first notice how it sounds pretty rough sounds like sandpaper so in, even though you wash it down, which I did a few times, uh, over time all the residue and stuff and dust gets kicked on there. So that's the whole reason you have a clay bar to get it nice and smooth so there's nothing that stays on here. You'll see right now it's clear, later it'll be all nasty. So let's get to doing one panel at a time. So after getting one side done, you can see the grime on here. Some is a little black. Earlier was perfectly clean. So yeah, it gets all these contaminants. And essentially, okay, so pretty much I'm done with this fender here. Let me wipe it dry with a microfiber towel and let you guys hear. Earlier you guys heard the clip, it sounded like sandpaper. So now, it's smooth, nice and smooth. And one thing you notice as well is you can see all the flakes in the paint much better. Earlier I could see like small specks of dust. Now I can actually see it much better. Again, the shine will really come out when you cut and polish it. Uh, so yeah, those are one of the few final steps. But let me get to clay bar the entire car first. So far I just got clay barring this side, this fender, the hood, and the whole front bumper. <laughs> That's about it as far as I went in about maybe an hour or so, an hour and a half. Uh, there's still some hot water spots, but once we buff it, all this will come out, but it's so much smoother. Before that, let me let you hear, it sounded like this, like sandpaper. And now, it sounds so much smoother. So yeah, uh, tomorrow I'll just knock out the rest of the car. 
Alright, so it's a brand new day. I'm back at Long Shop, Long Soda Motive, to work on my Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer. So like I said, we have been prepping to pretty much clean up the car. So this whole video is a few different days that I compiled together. Um, so first, I went ahead and detailed on the interior and engine bay. I did a full detail of the interior, looks squeaky clean. Pretty much, I'm trying to get it as clean as I can get. Uh, spick and span, almost like show car condition. And then on the outside, um, the previous clip yesterday, I actually spent all day pretty much just washing it down. I started clay barring it a little bit, but couldn't get too far. So today, the goal is to finish clay barring the entire car. Hopefully, if we have more time, you know, we can go ahead and polish it and buff it as well. So yeah, just uh, continue the prep work. Like I said, um, I don't know. If all goes well, long gets to check the car today. Make sure everything's good. No oil leaks, no coolant leaks, no boost leaks, anything like that. Um, and then once we get it all washed down and cleaned up, I might be able to take it home either tomorrow or the day after, but really, really soon. So yeah, pretty excited. So as you guys saw, I went ahead and clay barred this side, this one door. Uh, what I do is get a bucket of water, soapy water, just put it on here. You could use detailing spray or soapy water, get it nice and wet. Make sure the surface is always wet. And then went ahead and use this clay bar eraser to just, you know, slowly glide against it. You're not going to press too hard, but glide against it and got it on nice and smooth. And then once that's done, I just dry it down and you can see this door versus this door that's not done. I know both are black. I'm not sure if camera can really pick it up, but this door right here has so much more gloss and you can definitely see the pearls much more as well. So this side is not done yet. So let me continue. I pretty much knocked out the front end yesterday, both the hood as well as the front bumper. Front bumper took a while because there's so many curvatures um, and then today when I got here, I knocked out the roof, the windshield, the whole passenger side and I'm going to knock out this side and then the rear and then clay bar should be all done. So after a couple hours of clay barring it, the entire car was done. So I do have to say the longest it took me was the hood and the front bumper just because there's so many body lines on it, so aggressive. Uh, at the same time, I'm pretty sure when it rains or there's dust when I drive, it gets kicked onto the front end much more. The sides were super fast, pretty easy. You can see more gloss is restored. You can see my reflection. And like I said, we still have to polish and buff it and that's where the shine really, really comes out. Rear end is good as well. But yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out. Much cleaner. But yeah, I'm gonna get her as shiny as I can. So you guys saw me doing the polishing. So we have this polishing orbital put on a pad. I put it at really, really slow speed just because I'm not really experienced. If you do it too fast and you don't really know how to do it, you might burn through the clear coat on the paint. And then we also have this compound over here that we're using, the one step polish. Again, this is not the final process yet. We're gonna get it nice and glossy later. Uh, we use spray bottle, spray some water, get a little lubricated and do all these areas. 
you want to make sure to stay away from all these black trimmings stay away from all these because you don't want it to burn through it um, and then for small areas like these since the pad is too big I just did it by hand put a lid on a microfiber towel polish it flip the towel and buff it out so yeah uh, previously there's quite a few water spots I'm doing it you know section by section you can see over here you can still see the water spots I haven't done this area yet it's caked in uh, so I haven't done this area yet but yeah once it's done it looks real nice and shiny and I went ahead and did the same thing on the roof with the same polishing compound roof looks like glass All right, so we're done with using the polishing compound. Right now is the very, very last step. So getting the nice uh, gloss. So pretty much what you want to do is if there's any paint scratches, small fine scratches, you can try to get it off with this uh, orbital polisher for a really fine compound. So we're using this over here, this Rupus uh, different pad. And same thing, you want to do it lightly, this small. little bit you want to spread it all around and then you can spray a little bit of water as well and then pretty much get to doing it on here and I can do the entire car so I'm starting off with the carbon fiber hood same thing do it here buff it out and this is the very last step and then car should be looking all good Just finished one pass on the driver's door. This side is done, and this side is not done yet. You guys can see the difference in shine. This is already polished, this one not yet. Pretty big difference. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do the rest. This door is not done yet, too, so it looks so much better. I've already went ahead and done the roof, I've done the fender, the hood. Vomfers will be last since we'll probably do it by hand take a little longer check out the reflection And literally after all day of detailing she is pretty much done Looks super good uh, So recap we washed it well first day we did interior cleaning the interior We went ahead and get it as squeaky clean as we could leather is all nice and shiny and then the second day we washed it down wash it foam it wash it foam it wash it scrub it uh and then we started clay bar but i only got to the hood and front bumper and then today i finished clay barring the entire car so previously it sounded like sandpaper was real rough now it's you know much smoother uh and then i went ahead and polished it first round using this with a slight cutting compound and then after that using the rupus orbital polisher to get it nice and fine uh, so yeah it looks so much shinier did the wheels as well door jams and everything so yeah we just gotta check make sure everything's good to go before i go i'll probably do like tire shine clean down the windshields and glass one more time but yeah she's looking really good nice to see her nice and clean again after so many months and nia's new color on the wrap And we have Nia's Evo 8 super badass down. Yeah, the rap came out super good. He did it at home himself too. Ooh. Oh, so good. All right, so a few more things to do. I'm gonna use tire shine in this bottle. Just put a little bit on here and dress around the tire as well as glass cleaner.
good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You good? That Evo 8 sounds so good. Nia just freshly wrapped it and it's his first time wrapping a car. I think it turned out amazing. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm gonna move Eman's car, his BMW 335i, my RSX. Both these cars are gonna move it into the shop. Um, so a few videos back, I talked about the boys trying to get me into mountain biking. So I just bought Eman's bike. So yeah, let's go ahead and transfer the bike over to my RSX. Gonna fire up the BMW, insert key. So I've driven Eman's BMW a couple times. This thing pulls pretty good. Makes I think right around 400 horsepower with a stage two plus tune. Uh, and the bike's chilling back here. So he took off the wheels cause it can't really fit. But this is the bike that I got for him. BMW looks good, pretty clean. She needs a wash. And right now I'm going to move my RSX into the shop. It's Friday night so all the boys are here at the shop just hanging out, drinking beer, chatting about cars. Alright, so just going to drive the DC5 RSX into the shop. Like I said, with the hatch, you can store a bunch of stuff. And I'm pretty confident we can fit the bike back here. Uh, but yeah, let's drive her in and test fit, see if the bike can fit back there. And here's the bike. So, like I said, he took off the wheels because it couldn't fit it in the car. But the name of the brand is uh, Sherwin. Again, I don't know about my mountain bike. So, some of you guys, subscribers who bike, you might know better than me. I personally haven't rode a bike in, I want to say, 10, 15 years. It's been a long time. So, those are the fronts, those are the rears. Um, just gotta put it on. And the only thing I have to replace is the rear suspension. Uh, you could get springs, coilovers, or air suspension. His air suspension from Fox is blown, so I ordered a new one. It goes right here. Pretty easy. Just some Allen bolts come right off. Uh, so yeah, let's get to uh, assembling everything together. And I'll probably wash down and clean down the bike as well before I go riding in a few days. Alright, so I have the bike all assembled. So AJ was teaching me how to assemble the fronts and the rear since the wheels were off. I'm pretty sure this whole thing could fit in the hatch. So like I said, all I need is my rear shock which should come in tomorrow hopefully. Um, and then other equipment as well, my gloves, my riding pants, all that should come in. I couldn't get my helmet in time but we'll be going to a bicycle shop just to you know, check out what they have there. Alright, so just made it back home. As you can see, I have my bike back in the hatch. Like I said, love the RSX for the hatch because I could fit a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was pretty sure it could fit and eventually I'm going to be getting like a bike rack just so, uh, you know, I don't always have to use the hatch. And I like the roof rack, so I'll probably try to look for that. I know some brands like Thule or like Yamika. I'm pretty sure there's some other generic brands out there as well. Um, but yeah, in the future I'll get a roof rack so I can just mount my bike up there. That'll be pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you guys see to the very end, like I said, today I finally finished detailing down the whole car. Um, long is going through one more time on the turbo build just to make sure everything's good. Again, make sure no oil leaks, coolant leaks, or boost leaks. And then I should be able to get the car back home. Uh, it's been a long three days that I split up to do the full detail. Like I said, we started with the interior, we clean out everything in the interior as well as the trunk get it squeaky clean and then i went ahead and washed it down and give it a full detail clay bar polish and all that good stuff so if you guys are excited for me to get the car back because i am leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one